So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to make your own pricing and packages brochure. All right, here we are on my desktop. Um, so let me kind of walk you guys through what I mean by a pricing and packaging brochure. Essentially, this is gonna be a PDF that you send out to your clients to uh, as a kind of a one, one page document or multiple pages if you'd like, uh, but some as a reference so that they know what your prices are in your packages. Now I do wanna say as a preface, this is gonna be just mostly breaking down the free downloadable project file or Photoshop PSD file that I'll be giving you guys here and that link is in the description below. Uh, this video is mostly about breaking that down, a little bit about the mindset, um, helping you guys really work through how to use this project file, how to recreate your own, uh, more so than it's gonna be a video on really talking specifically about photo shoot pricing, whether you're shooting at home or you're shooting on location. So I don't want, I want to say that as a preface, uh, but this is kind of what we're going to walk through. Uh, this is just the PDF that's loaded um, on my desktop. You guys can kind of see multiple collections. It's multiple page documents. You can see it frequently, frequently asked questions here as well um, to basically help address some of the concerns your, your clients, potential clients may have. Uh, but let's hop over into Adobe Photoshop and we'll get started right away here. Um, let me scroll up and let's go into full screen so we can uh, not get distracted. Um, we will need the menu bar. Uh, yeah, well, I'll do full, full screen and then I can walk you guys through uh, bit by bit here. So, all right, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, you will notice um, there's a lot of stuff going on in this project file. I, I'll, it, it might be a little bit laggy and slow on my computer, but um, you guys will notice that there's multiple artboards, starting with artboard one, artboard two, and artboard three. I will do a tutorial in the future explaining more specifically how to create artboards and best practices on that. But uh, essentially what an artboard is, it's kind of like a, uh, a separate page in a Word document or a PDF or a booklet or a brochure. Um, essentially artboards allow you to, to create those kind of documents in Photoshop. Um, and they're pretty much separate uh, Photoshop working document spaces that you can put uh, you know, images or do other things uh, to. The, the project file and the PSD itself is broken down into separate artboards and you'll see here that it's organized. Uh, when I give you guys the downloadable project file, it'll be a little bit more organized than what it is here in artboard two and three. Um, but essentially it's organized based on the question, the content, um, based on the section of the artboard or page and it's color coded. So uh, let me walk you guys through the first page. Um, and I do wanna say as a preface before we get started as well, timestamps are in the description below if you wanna to skip to a certain section, um, more so on just how to use this, how to recreate this, uh, why did I create this? All of that timestamp information and description is, is in the description below. Uh, so part one right now, let me kind of explain uh, how I created this and then we'll go into another section on why I created this and then how we can actually go about using this project file. So uh, how did I create this? Again, Adobe Photoshop, PSD, multiple artboards. Um, the design was something I found as a result of looking at a lot of other people's collections and their pricings, and then I basically made my own uh, pricing package brochure based on some of those design principles taking and picking and choosing from multiple people. Um, this first artboard that you guys will see in the project file is broken down into multiple packages. Now, if you don't have five packages, then you can ultimately adjust the design accordingly to how many packages that you do have, whether that be one, two, three, five, seven, or, or more. Um, each one of these is organized based on packages, and it's also organized based on de design elements, titles, or um, other design cues. So you'll see here, these are all the design elements in terms of lines. You'll also see here, the, this is package one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, those are all organized in subsection of groups so that you can have greater flexibility when it comes to changing these, removing them if you have sales or discounts, however you, however you see fit. Um, in terms of what the actual packages have, they're all basically copy and paste templates that I made from package one. So it tells you the package number, whether it be one through seven, uh, the name of the package, you can name that whatever you'd like. What does the package include? In this case, an hour and a half session with five retouch images, and then a basic section that has a price. Um, and those are all organized. These are all text documents. And then just a square is down here. 
And that is the same thing for all of the packages that are offered, starting from bronze to titanium. Now, uh, I do wanna say as a preface as well, the package naming convention that you guys use does not matter. Uh, I just used ele elements because it sounded a little bit more glamorous and sexy, um, as opposed to just saying package one or basic or standard or elite or whatever. You can name them whatever you want. It, it's the same thing. Uh, but basically the client just needs to know that this is the basic package down here and then as you, as you go further down or higher up, uh, the prices increase as you get to their better packages. Um, so that's page one. Uh, down here is basically whether you offer printed products or not. You don't have to say that. You can just add basically an asterisk, additional information, um, your email, and then the phone number if you guys want. And uh, in the frequently, see, uh, frequently asked questions, that's artboard number two and three. Um, essentially, these are designed as just an image, which is a question mark, and then a text file, which contains the heading uh, in a certain color, and then also uh, the information as far as how do you want to answer the frequently asked question that uh, that's being addressed um, and then those are just copy and pasted all the way down and then we have the same lines that i took from artboard one as the uh, basically the the page breaks um, and then that's how you make page two as well so pretty straightforward in terms of the design process um, now let me explain in this section how do you guys or actually no uh, why did i recreate this and why did i make a P pdf as opposed to maybe purchasing or downloading uh, someone else's template and just using that. Uh, one, I wanted more flexibility. Um, secondly, I wanted to have a, a, a project file that I can use and I can adjust on the fly if I have sales or I have discounts to incentivize people to uh, purchase a package and book me as a photographer. Um, but more so than that, uh, you know, I it, it took a long time to do this. This was, this is, you're seeing the, this project file as a culmination of uh, potentially 10, 15, 20 hours of, of working in, in Photoshop and researching and, and doing all that stuff to actually create this. This was not something that was created just in one weekend. This was a this was like a four or five month project, little by little, um, chronologically, that I, I spent to create this. Um, but I wanted to be able to, when someone asks me on, on Instagram or wherever it may be, uh, email, uh, someone reaches out to me like, hey, Devon, you know, I'm interested in, in you know, in shooting with you, like, uh, you know, what are your rates? You know, how much do you charge? You know, that infamous question, how much do you charge, right? Uh, I wanted to just send someone a PDF that just answers all those questions. Um, so when I actually made the FAQ, uh, or when I made this PDF, the FAQ was not in, involved in this project file. Uh, I didn't have an FAQ, I just had the, the first artboard page one, uh, just with the prices. But people started asking questions, and um, I was just like, you know, answering the same questions over and over again. I just got kind of tired of it. So uh, for me, it's just like I want to streamline the process and make it as easy as possible for people to give me a yes or no whether they want to actually book or they don't want to. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to have a conversation, not to say that I don't want to have that on set, I do, but uh, when it comes to back and forth on emailing, I, I just want to I just want to book, you know, I want to just get there um, and then start coordinating details and, and then shoot, you know, and connect with that person. Uh, I don't want to just be back and forth and answer questions and doing all this stuff. Uh, so <laughs> I, made a, I made the FAQ as a result of really a lot of people asking the same questions over and over again, and then also as a way to mediate some of the skepticism or concerns people would have when they're looking at uh, say you know the the gold package up here three images or three hour session versus uh, the silver platinum and titanium packages why would they want to book myself and my creative team why do they need hair why do they need makeup uh, why do they need wardrobe and styling why are those things important I wanted to answer that stuff as well which is uh, part of the the FAQ section that I personally put in here you guys don't need to do that but I, I wanted to answer some of their questions and you guys can read over this this section if you'd like to get more information on what specific questions um, specifically I, I was getting and why I answered them the way that I did. But um, that's really why I built this PDF. I, I just really wanted to send it out or send it through Google Drive and be like, hey, this is, you know, this is my thing, you know, do you want to book, yes or no, kind of thing. <laughs> I understand that maybe not, maybe the best practice, I don't know, but uh, for me, it's just like, I wanted to help answer people's questions, their concerns, and I wanted to do it in a very professional manner that looked uh, presentable. You know, they look at this PDF and they're just like, oh shoot, this guy's legit, he's a professional. Um, so I, that's, those are the reasons why I ultimately made this. Now, uh, let's go into part three in the final segment of this video. Uh, let me explain how you guys can use this to your own best benefit, right? How do you guys, uh, after downloading this project file on our website, how do you guys then use this uh, in the way that you guys are, are shooting currently, right? Um, so first and foremost, uh, you will need to uh, figure out exactly, okay, how many packages do I need? 
um, okay, what do I want to include in those packages? How many images? How long should the shoot be? Does it include going on to locations or is it just a studio setting? Um, and then find out, okay, once you have the number of packages, find out a naming convention that you'd like to use, gold, bronze, silver, titanium, um, basic, you know, premier, elite, whatever. Um, find a naming convention, figure out your pricings. I will do a video on that specifically. Uh, figure out your pricings and then um, ideally, if you wanna use a headlining image like this, then go ahead and use a headlining image that best speaks to your style, right? Um, you don't you don't have to use this you can easily skip this image um, You know, I just at the time I shot editorials and portraits only uh, now I do beauty and commercial and um, Product photography and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, you know long story short uh, Figure out those things that will answer all, all the the concerns that you guys will have on page one So that'll get all that information uh, for the frequently asked questions if you want to include this uh, explain some of your packages um, Explain the difference between your packages like why would someone want um, you know, a, a lower end package that doesn't have as many photos. Um, explain whether they can bring friends, uh, if that's important to your style. Um, how long does a shoot go? And um, if you have a creative team, what comes as a part of your, your additional creative services? Um, yeah, and then maybe even explaining how, how it works once they kind of book, like what's the next step? Uh, those are kind of the step-by-step -step instructions. Again, this project file, if you guys want the project file, is in the description down below. Uh, I hope that adds a lot of value to you guys. I hope it helps out. Um, I hope that uh, helps answer some questions when it comes to doing something like this. Um, if you guys do make your own, please uh, definitely uh, send me a link so I can check out your, your PDFs and your, and your projects that you guys make as well. I would love to see those. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. Photography. <laughs> 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 <laughs>